What's going on guys? Welcome to your 44th HTML5 tutorial and in this lesson I want to start talking to you guys about the drag and drop feature in HTML5. Now whenever we think of drag and drop of course we know what it is. It's being able to take an icon or image or anything you want and drag it over somewhere else and drop it. And what action this performs you can either drop it into folders to organize it you can drop your files into you know little boxes to upload them or maybe download them there's a lot of possibilities that you can do but the action itself of dragging and dropping things was never really possible with web development so as web developers of course we could do this through flash or some complex thing but it never was really standardized that is of course until we came up with HTML5 what HTML5 does is, aside from giving us a ton of new features, it basically allows us to make websites more like software application, give us a much more wider range of tools, and basically take websites to the next level, making them smarter, better, pretty much more epic. So let me go ahead and you know shut up and just, <laughs> just get on with the tutorial. So basically what I did for this tutorial is I started brand new. I took my style sheet, wiped everything out in it. I took my JavaScript file. We have got nothing in there. All I have for starting is a blank HTML file that basically links to my CSS file and my JavaScript file and that's it. So let me go ahead and tell you guys the application I'm going to be building. Again, with the drag and drop you can do a whole bunch of stuff whether you want to you know just move pictures around organize them upload files download you can do basically anything you want to but for this demonstration I'm just gonna have a picture on the right and I'm gonna be dropping it into a picture on the left so I'm gonna be teaching you guys the really basic tools and techniques to do this but once you learn the basics you can do anything with it you want so let me go ahead and make two boxes two sections and wow I messed that up two sections one on the left and one on the right so this is going to be my left one and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this right now and make this one on the right so in order to uh, tell them apart let's give them both IDs the ID for the first one can be left box and let's just go ahead and write something in the left box so by default remember this is the box that's gonna be empty at first but we're gonna be dragging images into it so we're just sorry I dare you to drag uh, an image in me or something like that something make it stupid or else your web page isn't gonna work so like I said this is gonna be the one we're gonna be dragging images into so in the right one of course let me just go ahead and steal this ID right here and we will make this one right box can you guess why because it's gonna be on the right hand side and inside here we want an image in here by default now this is the image that we're going to be dragging so let's go ahead and add an image IMG and by the way in HTML5 you don't need that ending tag if a lot of you guys were like hey Bucky you forgot like right here um, in your link you don't need an ending tag in that one either that's with XHTML so uh, you know I just want to clear up that but let's go ahead and give this image an ID because whenever we reference it in JavaScript we need to reference it through its ID so ID equals face pick because it's going to be that picture of my face I don't know if you guys uh, remember what one it is but just make the source equal to images slash uh, what was my th I think it was called my face dot ping let me go ahead and test this out real quick and see so run launch this baby in Chrome and see what we got so this is going to be the first section right here I dare you to drag an image in me and that is my beautiful face so if you guys didn't know what I look like this is actually a good looking dude. I don't know who this is, but he looks pretty good. It's me, by the way. Spoiler alert. So, I mean, let's check out that layout one more time. This is a pretty nice looking layout, but whenever we're dragging and dropping stuff, it can be really confusing to know that we can dra drop stuff into here. So let's go ahead and hop over to CSS, and let's make this just a little bit prettier. So the first thing we want to do is make this box pretty the left box we actually want to turn it into a box so the user knows that there is a specific area that they can drop things into now the ID of that box was left box so let's go ahead and copy that and remember whenever you're working with ID just go ahead and use that sign left box so what rules can we put first of all let's go ahead and float this baby to the left because remember it's the left box so we want this one to be left first now let's give it a set width of 250 and a set height 
of 250 pixels. I actually forgot the pixels in that first one. And this is just because 250, 250 is going to appear nice in this tutorial. But again, you would want to make this different depending on whatever application you're making. And now let me just go ahead and give it a margin of 5 pixels so it isn't all bunched up together. And I also want to give it a border. A border of, let's say, what's going to look good for this tutorial? 3 pixels, solid, blue. So basically that's our left box right there. It's basically a square blue box that's on the left hand side. Now actually what we can do is just go ahead and copy this baby right here and paste it and on our right box we can just make this float to the left because remember we don't need to put the left box float left and right box float right. Whenever you put something that's float left first and float put something after it that's floating left second it's gonna appear after it it's just gonna be pushed up against it so this is actually a good layout so far let's go ahead and look at these rules we want the same size that's fine the margin five pixels that's fine as well the only other thing I want to do and the only rule that I want to change is I want to give this a different color instead of blue give it something like green because I just like giving every little thing a different color because then whenever you're looking at it in your HTML or on your website rather if something's messed up then you say okay my red box is messed up what one's red oh this one right here so let me go ahead and test this out and see what we get launching chrome oh yeah that is a nice looking and look it fits perfectly in my screen recorder how convenient so what we're going to do eventually is we're going to be able to take this image drag it over here and plop it just like that however if we see already the reason that we can drag this right now and it looks like it's dragging is because Google Chrome already has the ability to drag and drop images. Basically, it's ready for drag and drop. In other words, it's HTML5 compatible. But look what happens whenever I drag this. First of all, a little black, oh, it's not an X sign, it's like a railroad cross inside. <laughs> it's like, dude, what are you doing? You don't have any functionality for this yet. And likewise, whenever I try to drop it in the blue square, it's like, uh, yeah, you don't, you just can't do that. So what we need to do now is we actually need to make this program work. And how we do that is we hop over in JavaScript and we write all the programming for it. So like I said, our website interface in our drag and drop program is ready to go. We just need to write the programming for it. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do that in the next tutorial. So that's what we have to look forward to in the next tutorial. It's going to be amazing again, guys. Once you see this feature, it's going to take your websites to a whole nother level. I cannot wait for HTML5 to be standardized because I'm going to be super excited. So anyways, I'll shut up now. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.